Leaving Cert 2023 is fast approaching and Tullam Maths have just prepared a quick video to explain the maths exam. We'll go through the paper layout, the structure of the exam, suggested timing and exam technique tips which might come in handy. So Leaving Cert Maths paper 1 is this Friday 9th of June in the afternoon 2pm to 4.30 and paper 2 on the Monday June 12th in the morning half 9 to 12. Both exam papers are lasting two and a half hours. So once again this year there are adjustments to the 2023 paper. In paper one and paper two the adjustments are the same. So in section A it's 150 marks, section B 150 marks. In section A there are six questions each worth 30 marks but you only have to do five so you have a choice there. Section B the same you have a choice they'll give you four questions and you have to do three. Each of those questions worth 50 marks. So the choice is going to be helpful here. Everyone has their own way of timing, but this is just a suggestion. Uh, take the first maybe 12 to 13 minutes to read over the paper, uh, pick your questions and to mark down any formula that you might need. Take that bit of time though to pick the questions you want to do. It's important that you don't just kick in and start a particular question and then you realize that you want to maybe do something else instead. That leaves maybe about 12 to 13 to 14 minutes per 30 mark question in section A and about 21 minutes in section B for the 50 mark questions. That then leaves about 9 or 10 minutes at the end just to read back over it, check your signs, check for those small little errors that you might have made. Again, this is just suggested timing, but just to, my advice would be put a watch on your desk uh, to time yourself for each question that you don't go over that sort of 13 minutes and 21 minutes per question. Then to look at some exam technique tips, just make sure you're using blue or black pen. We want to avoid pencil, a pencil maybe just for sketching. Uh, no marks for just writing down a formula most of the time, so make sure you sub something in to the formula correctly. Uh, my advice would be don't do calculations in your head. Keep that for another day. Use your calculator. You don't want to make them silly mistakes. Don't rub out. Just put a line through it, strike it out and start again. Maybe go to the back of the booklet, redo it. Be careful with your rounding, units of measurements, marks can be lost here, so if it says to one decimal point, just be careful with that. Uh, show all of your work, so marks for um, attempts, so make sure and show all of your workings. Particularly with your constructions, all of your arcs and lines, don't rub them out. Don't leave blanks, make an educated guess at it. Marks can be got for little bits, so just make sure and put something down in paper. Make that effort really is what I'm saying. Again, I have to say it again, make, uh, keep an eye on the timing, put a watch on your desk. You don't want to lose sight of the time. Keep attention to the basics. Sometimes the answer is staring you in the face. Don't always try and complicate the question. Underline keywords. So again, when you're coming back to check your work at the end, if you have the keyword underlined, that's triggering um, maybe when you're looking back over your answers, have you missed something? Don't overcomplicate the question. It could have an easy route to it. Uh, your calculator again, make sure you clear it before going into the exam, make sure you're setting it to radians or degrees, particularly um, with your trigonometry questions or when you get to statistics, just make sure you clear your calculator each time. Don't be afraid to sketch, mark information onto the picture, sometimes if you start sketching things might trigger in your mind. Label diagrams, if they show a sketch and they don't have everything marked on it, fill it in yourself. Don't leave the exam early. If you finish early, go back over it. I'm sure you'll pick up a couple of marks by finding a little mistake. Each mark counts. Don't get bogged down with a particular part. If you're struggling with something, put stop, move on, come back to it if you have time at the end. Explain your answers. So if a question, particularly in statistics, ask to give a reason for your answer, make sure and give a logical answer. Your mathematics can be part of your reasoning but just give a little bit more uh, explanation to questions or to answers and make sure and contextualize them, particularly in statistics. Look through your log tables, be familiar with them, make sure you know what's in there and what's not in there. A new set of log tables will be given, you, given to you in the exam, so you don't have to bring your own. You'll hand them back at the exam and end of the exam paper. Uh, you do have to bring though your own calculator and math sets, so just make sure you have them with you on the day. Have everything ready on your desk. Don't be waiting for the person, the superintendent, to say you can begin and that's then when you start taking out your calculator and your compass. Have everything on your desk ready to go. You just have that two and a half hours and you'll need every minute of it. Um, just make sure, attempt, attempt, attempt. Try everything, don't leave blanks. It's important to put something down on paper. 
And finally, from Tullamats, we'd like to wish all students uh, taking part in their Leaving Cert, ordinary level, higher level, the very best of luck. And on the Tullamats YouTube channel, you'll find plenty of videos to help you through, uh, introduction videos and past mock and exam paper questions. So the best of luck.